The little rubber pieces that children play on and play with in what's supposed to be one of the safest of spaces may actually be poisonous. First exposed by parent commission tests in May, elevated levels of lead were found inside the recycled tire rubber pieces which make up the play mats. Children exposed to lead face developmental and hormonal problems. For DC Councilmember Robert White, this danger is personal. That's right, my, my daughter attends a school where they found elevated, excessively elevated levels of lead uh, in the playground that she uses. Uh, I know what concern that raises for me and my wife. White led several council members writing a letter to Mayor Bowser demanding to quicken the pace in testing and fixing the problem of lead in playground rubber. So what we need the mayor to do is, is really to understand the urgency of testing not just the D.C. public school playgrounds, but all Department of Parks and Recreation playgrounds. This is Eaton Elementary near Cleveland Park, one of 17 school playgrounds flagged for having elevated lead levels. Now, work crews power wash and vacuum this playground, but the question that council members and parents are asking, is that a permanent fix? Mayor Bowser's office has not responded to the council's Monday letter, nor to WUSA 9's request for comment. In previous statements, the district's Department of General Services assures all families that schools with elevated playground lead levels are now safe to play on. It has told parents to expect district-wide test results sometime in January. In Northwest Washington, Nathan Baca, WUSA 9. Now, Councilmember White says there is a point when he'll press the district to give up on using recycled tires on playgrounds. We'll talk to him about what that means for the future coming up tonight on WSA 9 News at 11.